Welcome, new at five, a woman facing three felony charges after allegedly driving under the influence and severely injuring a 19-year-old woman. Today, the victim's mother and best friend are speaking to ABC4's Andrew Reeser about the living nightmare they're enduring, and they say because of someone else's recklessness. One Salt Lake County family will never cross the bridge on 114th South leading into South Jordan without thinking of this. I could see the crunched, crashed car. It took more than 30 minutes to pry the car off of her legs. Anita Wilson had just said goodbye to her daughter, 19-year-old Sonia, right after midnight Sunday, when a car driven by 30-year-old Bobby Phillips struck Sonia's vehicle head-on, crushing it. I'm just glad that she didn't die. Madison McCurdy says Sonia, her best friend, was driving to her house. The friends were talking on the phone when Sonia cried out. I heard a big crash, glass shatter. I, I heard something crunch. I heard... I heard everything, and she was screaming. Bobby Phillips faces charges, including felony DUI. The crash happened just one hour after Utah's .05 DUI law went into effect, though it's unknown how much alcohol Phillips may have consumed before the crash. Now, Sonia, who's talking and alert, faces months of recovery. Her mother urging drinkers to stay away from behind the wheel. We're angry that somebody would be irresponsible enough to get in a vehicle, get in a deadly weapon, and then drive it. In South Jordan, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. Now, Sonia's recovery will likely cost thousands. The family has set up a fundraiser to help pay for some of it. Now, there's a link on our website at abc4.com.